Minerals are the materials that make up the solid earth. Having a solid grasp of how they form and behave is necessary to understand how the earth works. By definition, minerals are naturally occurring crystalline solids. So to understand their properties, students need to understand a bit of crystallography. And unfortunately, that's where many students get lost. Let me show you what I mean. Earth science students have studied crystals using wooden models for decades. Here at ONU, we have an extensive collection of these wooden block models. Today, these models cost thousands of dollars for just a fraction of the models that we have in our set. They're virtually irreplaceable. But I've always wanted students to have just a few key models of their own so they could spend more time studying them outside of class and lab periods. Crystallography is one part of the geoscience curriculum that really forces students to learn three-dimensional spatial thinking skills. It's definitely a challenge for many and it takes some time to really digest the information and come to understand it. It takes some work. But once you learn to see the symmetry of crystals in three dimensions, you start to view the whole world differently. So with the help of a former colleague from my Michigan graduate school days, I decided to investigate whether a small kit of crystal models could be made using a 3D printer. A 3D printer sounds kind of like magic, and it kind of is. It prints not using ink and paper, but rather by laying down a small amount of plastic, one thin layer at a time, which slowly builds up to create a full object. 3D printing is a fantastically innovative area right now. If you can imagine it, you can probably create a small plastic model of, well, just about anything. It took a bit of trial and error, but I was able to get a simple kit of 10 models printed for about 10 bucks a piece. Each student gets to pick their own color. It seemed like a neat way to get these learning tools into the hands of students, making it much more accessible. Each set contains a simple model of every crystal system. Isometric, hexagonal, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, and triclinic. I also added a few other critical isometric forms, the tetrahedron, octahedron, and trapezohedron. I also added two mineral forms for quartz and zircon. With this collection, I hope they'll be able to really master these basic symmetry concepts and really gain an appreciation for the beauty that's found in natural crystals. I definitely plan to continue finding more ways to incorporate 3D printing into the geoscience curriculum here at ONU. You can print just about anything, so what do we print next? Yeah. Mm -hmm.